Hey there, everyone. Many of us have respiratory problems. Aside from medicine, there is another form of treatment. We are talking about steam inhalation therapy. It's extremely helpful in dealing with the common cold as well as bronchitis and allergies. Additionally, it's rather easy with very few cons. In today's video, we're going to cover all you need to know about steam inhalation therapy. How to do steam inhalation therapy at home. Steam inhalation therapy is simply inhaling water vapor through your nostrils. While it can't really cure anything, it can definitely help you prevent future respiratory problems. To do this properly, you need a bowl of steamed water. After the bowl is put together, you'll inhale the steam. The water vapor will enter your respiratory tracts. It'll loosen the mucus in your nose, throat, and lungs. As with most home remedies, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. However, just make sure you drape a towel around your head and shoulders. This will prevent the steam from escaping into the air while you inhale. For a proper steam session, avoid doing it for more than 10 minutes. If possible, keep it to a minimum of 2 to 5. You can repeat a steam session twice a day. Just make sure there's a decent enough break in between them. Now it's time to turn our focus on how therapy helps us. But before that, there is something we'd like to know. Have you subscribed to our channel yet? Make sure that you do. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date with more great Bestie content. Number 1. Eases Irritation One of the first things you notice when your nose has been fully stuffed with mucus is the irritation. It's the kind of feeling you get when mucus has blocked your respiratory tracts. The irritation is often accompanied by an itchy feeling. This is why you should try this therapy. It helps your nasal muscles relax and ease irritation. This makes you feel more comfortable. When mucus blocks your respiratory tracts, it also blocks the flow of oxygen among the blood vessels. This causes your blood vessels to become swollen. So the irritation you get is basically your blood vessel's way of saying, I need more oxygen. Steam inhalation can moisten the nasal passages, making the mucus lighter. Once this happens, the mucus loosens up and is forced to move. After that, your blood vessels get the oxygen supply they'd been irritating you for. Number 2. Gives temporary relief from cold. When you have a cold, your nose and the upper respiratory tracts get blocked with mucus. This mucus doesn't allow you to breathe properly. By loosening the mucus, the steam allows for a free flow of oxygen in the respiratory tracts. This restores your lung function to its original state, freeing you from the breathing problem. But how does this give temporary relief from cold? Once the mucus has been liquefied, it'll most likely drip out of your nose. In other words, it won't be stuck in your nasal cavity anymore. When there's no mucus in your nasal cavity, the irritation will be gone. Along with it, the sensation that made your head feel slightly heavy will also be gone. You won't feel like you want to sneeze. This is the temporary relief we're talking about. Sadly, it won't last long, but hey, it's a homemade remedy and not a doctor's prescribed medicine. Number 3. Gives temporary relief from sinus infections. Your nasal passages have cavities, which are susceptible to inflammation. When that happens, you get a sinus infection. In most cases, a sinus infection can be triggered by a common cold or even a flu. Sometimes it's caused by allergies that can last more than 8 weeks. If you happen to be someone who faces this problem a lot, you know how annoying it is. This is where steam therapy inhalation once again comes to the rescue. The water vapor and steam makes you feel a little better as your body fights the infection. Remember, the steam can neither neutralize nor kill the infection, so make sure you don't use steam inhalation therapy as an excuse not to see a doctor. Speaking of which, we're talking about a lot of different things on Bestie. A few days back, we did a video on things you can do to fight a global pandemic. If you haven't managed to check it out, please do. Number 4. Other Benefits Steam inhalation therapy is also very useful when it comes to dealing with bronchitis and other nasal allergies. Once again, it's the water vapor from the steam that's helping relax the muscles in your respiratory tracts. It eases the irritation and provides relief from the pain and burning sensations. It also fights headaches and stuffy noses. Some people even suggest that steam inhalation therapy can be helpful when dealing with cough and throat irritation. Going by all these facts, we'd have to believe the steam inhalation therapy is good for us. Well, it is good, but it does have some cons. Let's take a look at those before we jump to any kind of conclusion. The Cons of Doing Steam Inhalation You may be thinking, what could go wrong by inhaling some water vapor? After all, we inhale water vapor all the time from the air. Well, sometimes the air we inhale is polluted. So, how can inhaling steam be dangerous? You see, there's a chance of getting scolded by the hot water. This would only create more problems for you. This is why it's important for precautions to be taken. These include placing the bowl on a sturdy surface so it won't be knocked down so easily. 
your eyes are at risk as well, so make sure they don't get exposed to the steam. Another thing that I'd like to add is that it's not for children. As a matter of fact, it's been proven in a study that children are at the highest risk for getting burned from steam. On top of that, spilled hot water on sensitive skin is something you should try to avoid at all costs. It can trigger skin allergies or lead to infections, rashes, or other related issues. We don't want to expand your medical expenses now, do we? Now, I've spoken about all the benefits, methods, and problems related to steam inhalation therapy, yet there's still something missing. Most of you live busy lives where managing time is difficult. If that's the case, you can try purchasing an electric steam inhaler. It's easily available online or at a medical drugstore. An electric steam inhaler is a gadget you can pour into and boil. Once boiled, you can switch off the device and inhale the steam. Some steam inhaling devices come with built-in masks that can fit around your nose and mouth. This way, you won't have to worry about getting scolds or damaging your eyes. More importantly, it becomes safer for your children. Just make sure you clean this machine regularly as it can easily get dirty. Clean it once before use and then once after. If you're planning to use it for a few days, store it in a clean place. So what do you think about getting steam inhalation therapy? Have you ever taken it? Are you considering it after watching this video? Let us know in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait! What kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.